heading out on another gold prospecting adventure. Appalachian Prospectors. Appalachian Prospector here, Billy John and Prospector Jack. And we're on the river again today. We're in uh, Vermont. We were invited up by Brother Joseph, Joseph Moranville, who is the inventor and manufacturer of the Green Mountain Gold Trap. He, he invited us up to field test his, his product. And that's what we're doing today on the river. Well, greetings everybody, Joseph Green Mountain Gold Trap, and we're here with Appalachian Prospectors, and we're going to show you how this thing works. I'm going to give this thing a good setup and a little bit of, little bit of run time, but it's fairly simple. Create yourself a wing dam, get your water diverted onto the skid plate, and there you go. Pretty quick and easy. We already created a dam over there. Picked a good spot to set up. I mean, you can get these things running pretty heavy. Right now, I've got a pretty good flow. I can go even faster with it. And it keeps that gold. So what we have down here, we've got the capture tray. You really kind of want to have where the water comes, where the the lighter material comes out of your trap, you want to have that at water level or above. So while I'm trying to figure that out, get it just right. There we go. Simple as that. Clean outs are quick and easy. You slide your tray out, dump it into a pan or a five gallon bucket. Slide it back in. Put your pin back in and you're up and running again. Now why don't we shovel a little bit of material on. As you can see, there's no classification required whatsoever. As long as you've got good enough flow to eject those bigger stones off of your classification plate, it's all good to go. Now once I shovel a little bit of material on, I want to look inside the trap to make sure that it's set up right. That's the one benefit about having it clear, you know when it's set up right. And it is all the material down inside bubbling nice and fluidized so you know that gold is going to be sinking right down inside and it's not going anywhere so we are good to go another good thing about this too on the classification plate down in here sometimes you'll see gold it acts like a ripple almost Sometimes gold will get caught down in here in the first two rows. And that's always nice to see. Well, I guess we are good to go and start finding some gold for the day. That's the Green Mountain Gold Trap right there. And we're trying out for Brother Joe today. And we're going to give it to help see how it works.
That's simple. They just rinse it out in the water. Ready to pan it. There's some gold. What's the date today? 25th. Okay, May 25th. <clears throat> Here we are again with Brother Joseph, and we are running the Green Mountain Gold Traps. We're just getting set up, as you can see. Brother Joseph is making his uh, wing dam, getting ready to put his Green Mountain Gold Trap in the stream. Bill Billy John is already set up and uh, he's shoveling away already. There he is. So there's going to be two of us on one um, uh, three footer, three foot riverbed hog. And we're going to put her to the test. Hopefully, we get some good gold here. And uh, we'll check back with you later.
Well, I gotta say, I really like the Green Mountain Gold Trap. Why? Because it works so good. I think I like uh, I like it better than using a sluice box. A lot easier to run, easier to set up, and definitely easier to clean out. Uh, I would recommend the Green Mountain Gold Trap to anybody out there. Uh, check out the website, GreenMountainGoldTrap.com. Check it out. Uh, I give it a thumbs up. All right, so we're going to clean out the uh, Green Mountain Gold Trap, and I'll show you how simple it is. Tell you what, I'm with you a lot. There. Okay, so let's get right here on the side. Just pull that out, and we pull out the drawer. Pull out the drawer, like so. As you can see here, can you see it? Yeah. You just dump that in your pan. Get some water in there, rinse it out. Then you want to rinse these tubes out. Just in case there's any sand in there, you don't want to block and get your holes blocked up. Simple as that. Slide it right back in. Put the tent back in. We'll be ready to go again, but we're breaking down, so we won't be going again. Before I did that, I also had this that I used to block off the end to flow the water. Keep it a little bit open on the bottom so water flows through the other side where it will clean out the sand and get behind the door. So now we pan it down and see what we get. A lot of black sands here. A lot of hematite here too. Yeah, we get some gold for sure. Yeah, I got it. All right, good. So, you saw what we got. You saw how the Great Mountain Gold Trap worked. And, uh, you know, it works great. We got fine gold. And uh, if it will capture that, it will capture anything that will fit through that uh, expanded metal. And we skips a step by not having to classify it, which and I love. That is much better. So uh, we definitely give this thing a thumbs up, and uh, we recommend it to any prospector out there. Uh, this is uh, pretty much wraps up our Vermont trip, and uh, it was a pleasure to meet with, with Joseph, who is the creator of the Green Mountain Gold Trap, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get up here and do some prospecting with him again. Until next time. The Village John. Prospector Jack. And we'll see you on the river. All right.